best geek blog ever. These guys are professionals. They're the best. What's up, geeks? Welcome back for another episode of Best Geek Vlog Ever, the weekly web show that proves you should have been at Comic-Con. We're your hosts, Brendan Toda and Ezekiel Gutierrez. So many amazing things happened at Comic-Con this year, especially as it relates to films and films with comic book characters in them. During the Warner Brothers panel, at the very conclusion, Zack Snyder, director of Man of Steel, came out to announce what we were kind of all expecting, a sequel for Man of Steel, set for summer 2015. However, he did say that there was one particular element that we'd all be kind of interested in. Cut to the Superman Man of Steel logo, overshadowed by a giant f***ing bat. We lost our minds when that news broke. The countdown immediately began in my yes. mind. There's so much to talk about, so we're gonna go through a couple things that we're looking forward to in the future Batman Superman movie. Number one being Bruce Wayne meeting Clark Kent. That absolutely has to happen. I'm not sure how much of the Batman universe is gonna make it into the movie. The Man of Steel movie is really a by the numbers Superman affair. From Krypton to uh, his father Jor-El, they hit every note that you need to. Sure for a Superman movie, and he gets to do Superman type stuff. That being the case, I think more attention should be drawn to Bruce Wayne and Gotham. They don't need to look very far in some of the talent that's already at DC. Greg Pak is writing Batman Superman, and the first few pages of that is that meeting. They sort of seem like they're sort of outsmarting each other, and in the, in the first few pages of the comic, Superman intervenes in a kid being beaten up by a group of kids, and Bruce Wayne just sort of watching there, just analyzing how this one kid will react to things. Clark Kent turns to see Bruce Wayne just sitting there, and has an issue with that. Were you just gonna watch this kid get beat up? And he said, well, actually, you just created more problems because those kids are gonna come back and beat the crap out of the kid twice as hard tomorrow. If you wrote those exact frames from the comic into the movie, I wouldn't be disappointed at all. I think some of the best Batman Superman work is, is happening right now in, in the pages of the DC Comics. Number two is, of course, they're going to be at odds given the quote that they read in that the film is tentatively titled Superman vs. Batman. So they're definitely going to be at odds. While that'll be the case for I would like to think the majority of the film, my preference would be for a a third person for the both of them to team up against and like just beat the crap out of yeah. it'll just be freaking amazing to see that happen like just throw the batarangs at his chest and hit him with the laser vision and yeah. freeze him with the with the fr oh god i'm geeking out hard on this <laughs> wow <sighs> there's so many ways for this film to go right and not many to go wrong i mean you just put these two characters together that's gonna sell tickets Zack snyder did a great job with man of steel and as far as i'm concerned uh, I've liked every single one of his films uh, thus far. Now you're doing a Batman Superman movie, which is something I've always wanted to see. I feel like he's the right guy to do that. 2015 is such a huge year for movies, yeah. but, but Batman Superman just went yep. right to the top of that list. So the only other thing that we need to talk about is our only segment today, Countdown, where we count down something. something. Yeah. Today's something is our top five picks for uh, the new actor to portray Batman, a very heavy burden to carry given the success of the Batman and now the Man of Steel movie. Anybody they choose is gonna be, is gonna have big shoes to fill. Any, yeah. any Batman anything at this point mm -hmm. uh, is gonna be compared to Christopher Nolan's. There's no way around it. Uh, we just have to get over it, people. All right. Number five is my uh, sort of obvious choice on the list, but I was looking over some actors today and I was like, that guy just looks like he could be Batman. And I found out that this guy actually auditioned for Christopher Nolan's Batman. Okay. Didn't get it, but was David Goyer's first choice, Jake Gyllenhaal. He looks Batman. He could be Batman. I can he, see he that looks, happening. And more so, he looks, like, he looks like he could be a really good, rich Bruce Wayne. Number four, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's almost like Heath Ledger, where you'd be like, really? Would that be the best choice? But I think if he's allowed to have enough of his liberties to be creative that we would forget immediately that it's Leonardo DiCaprio and see just Batman. But you might also, that might also work because like I said, I would like to see a Batman who's established in that world already. He's not becoming Batman, he's been Batman. Yeah. And I think hiring somebody like Leonardo DiCaprio almost conveys that sense of, we know what we're doing, mm -hmm. so does he. Our number three is our no-name guy, our relative unknown he was in Wrath of the Titans. He was in my favorite film of the year, The East, Toby Kebbell. Hmm. Yes. Who? <laughs> IMDb him. I think he's sort of got the face for it. I think he's got the chops to it. Similar to Henry Cavill, 
Uh, they're sort of these relative unknowns, and I think if you're really going to build a franchise around these two guys, because they will be the two guys front and center, mm-hmm. for, no matter what film, whether it's this one or the Justice League in 2017, it might be good to go with these kind of new guys. And I think Toby Kebbell, if you go back and look at some of his work, he's very good. Watch the East, God damn it, It's so good. <laughs> so good. He's Getting great. so angry about yes. it. Yes. Uh, the East. Uh. Okay, our number two choice? Yep. Clive Owen. Would be an interesting choice. For Where Batman. is Clive Owen gone? That's exactly my Clive point. Owen? One of my favorite roles that he's ever done uh, was in Sin City. I think he's got an interesting look. I think he's got a good snarl. I actually would need to look up how old he is because he might be a little bit older. Might be a little too. He's definitely older but, than Henry Cavill. Yeah. yeah. But if they're they are taking some cues from uh, Dark Knight Returns, an older Batman might not be a might bad be thing. A bad idea. Yeah. yeah. So that'd be our number two choice. Our number one choice is actually this is sort of ironic. Why is it ironic? He was absolutely my number one choice to play Superman Superman when they announced oh. that they were making a Superman movie. And I was sort of disappointed when they went with Henry Cavill. And then I was like, okay, I get it. He looks the part. He's square jawed, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, but Matt Bomer yep. would be a perfect, perfect Bruce Wayne. You are perfect absolutely Superman. right. I, You know what? Screw my <laughs> other choices. This countdown list is could only be Matt Bomer. Superimpose a cowl over Matt Bomer's face. Look at that jawline. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Come on, guys. That would be amazing. Henry Cavill, Matt, Matt Bomer, Bomer, Batman, Superman. So That's, those are our picks. Yeah. If you have uh, other picks or want to suggest anything, leave it in the comment section down below. Let's start a discussion here, people. Yes. Coming back from Comic-Con 2013, we brought a few souvenirs, obviously uh, not just for ourselves, but for you all for supporting the show. So we're starting a contest this week. That's right. We are going to raffle off. This, hey, this is cool, guys. Signed poster of Under the Dome. This is a signed poster for the new show Under the Dome, which is an adaptation of Stephen King's very popular book. It's on CBS. I have watched the pilot. It is it is kind of a lot of fun. Uh, it stars Dean Norris. Come on, guys. If you're watching Breaking Bad, we got Hank from Breaking Bad. Rachel LaFerver. Uh, she's from Twilight. Come on, Twihards. Don't you want... Look, she even put a heart on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike Vogel, but uh, our favorite thing is Brian K. Vaughn is executive producing mm-hmm. the show. Brian K. Vaughn is responsible for Why the Last Man, Pride of Baghdad, and of course, the saga. best thing that's happening right now in comics, which is Saga. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is a genius uh, and in good hands. The show is in good hands. So to win this beauty, comment on our Twitter, on our Facebook, on any of the videos on YouTube and answering this question. If you were trapped under the dome with any of tv's iconic characters who would it be would it be a les stroud to help you survive survivor man would it be the mythbusters to help you figure out how to get off the island with duct tape would it be sam from cheers because sometimes you just need a friend to talk to you let us know and you have a chance of winning this autographed poster directly from comic-con it's an exclusive and signed by the cast Who's just giving this stuff away? Best Geek Vlog ever is giving it away. That's Limited right. edition, kids. So as always, thank you for joining us for yet another episode of Best Geek Vlog Ever. To keep up to date with all of our latest episodes, hit the subscribe button right below. New episodes come out every single Monday. If you have a suggestion for next week's topic, leave it in the comment section down below or hit us up at our Twitter, at Epic Happens Here. For Best Geek Vlog Ever, we're your hosts, Brandon Toda and Ezekiel Gutierrez, reminding you that every weekday is a geek day.